Hi guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. It's a slightly later start this week as it is 5.48 on Saturday. I, I mean I can tell you now, I went out last night with my new job. It was really, really lovely, but I have suffered pretty much all of today. So I have had a very, very slow start to the day. I've pretty much done absolutely nothing, but I wanted to at least vlog today because Alex and I are going to the Greenwich Planetarium to see a show, to see like a, a, a space show. And I don't know what the rules are in terms of like photos and filming, but I am very, very excited. Wine. Wine is dangerous. But yeah, welcome to another week. Welcome to another Saturday. And, and let's roll on the show. <laughs> Christmas tree is here. We're gonna open it up and let it like sit for a bit and then we'll probably decorate it this evening. We've got back from collecting the tree and it's now like dropping. Let's put this. So the tree is now just like settling and then when all the branches are like where they should be, we'll decorate it. But my hands, are, I don't know if the camera's picking up, but they're like blotchy and red. Obviously carrying the tree down the road, I think we've pricked our hands too much or are mildly allergic to Christmas trees. I don't know, but my hands are really sore. But I'm gonna finish editing last week's vlog because I still haven't done that. And then I've got some bits in the bathroom to sort out. Uh, I've had a bit of a declutter, a bit of a sort out so that this, looks a little bit less chaotic and only actually has the stuff in that we need. We did look at getting some storage in here, hence we can see that line there. We were trying to like work out if it will fit. But we think the bathroom is kind of the wrong shape and size to put extra storage in. So we've bought a unit to go here. And in the meantime, this can just live like this. And when the unit comes, more skincare will probably work its way into here. But for the meantime, this is all we're gonna have, well, all I'm gonna have in here. So um, the cleansers that I'm using, the moisturizers that I'm using, the toner I'm using, the serum I'm using, a few more oils and things here, my eye cream, toothbrush, toothpaste, hand cream, mouthwash, hairbrush. This is kind of backup shavers and, and toothbrush heads to be an Alex. And then this is cotton wool rounds. So that's kind of like my bit. Alex has a few things out here. Still have my empties under there that I'm full on collecting up. But if you wonder where all the skincare has gone, da -da -la! so I've popped all the skincare in here for now. We might still move things around while we settle in here, but I've popped all the skincare in here. I've also popped shoes at the bottom. It's a big array of stuff. We've got this storage cupboard and then this one. So this one is more kind of practical life stuff. And then this one is more kind of skincare bits. So I've got perfume, face washes, face tools and toners. These are face moisturizers. These are more kind of face masks. Then you've got kind of more showery bits here. So bubble bath, hair stuff, 
and body cream. This is kind of stuff that me and Alex would share. So hand wash and hand gel and like sunscreen. Um, this is Alex's shelf and Alex's shelf. And then these are kind of tea towels and face wash cloths and things like that. So yeah, I've popped it all in here for now. Just feels a little bit less chaotic and I can pick things up and swap them out as and when, but it really means that I actually like try and know if I like what's currently in the bathroom. So yeah, this was my activity for today and I can now close the door on it. Hi! It feels, considering I've had quite a few glasses of wine, it feels like a weird time to suddenly bring up the weekly vlog and remember that this is my thing, to explain why I've been so absent the last two weeks. But, I mean, it's very much out on the ethos today. In fact, today is the last day it could be out on the ethos. But, uh, I... I'm moving jobs. Today, this is Friday the 10th of December, is the last day at a company that I've worked for for four years. Four years when you're 26 is a very long time. And I've been so absent because I've been so busy trying to wrap up four years of my life. On Monday, I start a new job. Today I have cried probably more than I think I've cried in any breakup ever. I'm gonna come on here tomorrow and talk you through, <laughs> a bit weird thing to follow this clip, but I'm gonna talk you through all the empties that I finished up over the last kind of two months because I appreciate I've been pretty naff. Hi guys and welcome to the segment that I keep having to add to the end of weekly vlogs because I'm dreadful at weekly vlogging at the moment. So today is Saturday. I thought I would end this weekly vlog with my product empties. I love empties videos. I love seeing what people have used up. So today I've got for you my most recent empties basket. I'm going to talk you through the products that I've used up and something that you will have seen in empties videos on my channel and on my blog and over on Instagram for years and years and years is a body shop shower gel. I'm obsessed with body shop shower gels. I have another one on the go in my bathroom at the moment. I just think with the price point, they're really, really good. They smell delicious, they foam up really nicely. They leave my skin feeling like clean, but not stripped, and I love them. So this is the strawberry scent. I've actually got a strawberry scent in the shower at the moment. It's probably my favorite, but yeah, I will keep buying those for a very, very long time. So I finished up a body shop shower gel. I've also finished up one of the molten brown shower gels. And this is in the shade Delicious Rube and Rose. Excuse my nails. <laughs> it's really embarrassing. Um, anyway, I love these little kind of like travel things for when I go home to see my dad or go away for a weekend so that's what's kind of like these get used up for. I finished the L'Oreal Plumping Tinted Serum. It does look like there's still some left in it but I cannot get it out because it's one of those like little pipette things. The pipette doesn't go to the bottom of the bottle obviously and so it's so hard to get that last bit out of this bottle. It's probably my only like qualm with it but I really, really loved this. It has one of those like really nice light to medium, but kind of buildable coverage. It looked super, super natural. This shade, which is the shade, shade 0 0.5 to 2, very light, matches me perfectly. And I, 
yeah i really really enjoyed this also finished the nivea creme soft pure care shower cream i was using this when i had like a rash on my leg so i was nervous about using like highly fragrant shower gels like this one so i just bought a unscented one and i was fine i didn't like it particularly much but it did the job and so can't really complain can you next up we have the typology organic orange blossom hydrolate which is basically a toner i also have here the typology seven ingredient cleansing oil so i finished up two typology products this month i love the cleansing oil it removes makeup so effortlessly especially kind of waterproof mascara and like bold lipsticks this is just perfect for this bottle is actually deceptively large like it actually lasts a surprising amount of time considering there is only 100 milliliters in it but i love this and would definitely repurchase the toner i not sure i'm as obsessed with it was nice and it was gentle and i enjoyed it but i didn't think i noticed anything particularly different when i was using it versus when i was not we have a sample here of the bliss clear genius clarifying gel cleanser this makes me really sad it is beautiful the texture is stunning it has this really like kind of like fresh scent and i really want to love it but my skin does not react well to it it gets really really red it gets really hot and i come out in little bumps so i'm basically allergic to it and i don't know what it is in here they kindly sent me a full size bottle i gave it to my best friend she also absolutely loves it but her skin is fine with it and my skin isn't so it's one of those products i can't use but if your skin doesn't have a reaction to it i could not recommend it enough it's a really really lovely cleanser it just uh doesn't work with my skin i finished up the revlon color stay pressed powder in the shade 820 light so this is a real old school classic i had just never tried it so i thought you know what i'm gonna give it a go it's one of those products i'd never ever tried before it is actually really lovely it has a color to it hence why it's in a shade and not translucent but it doesn't look cakey or heavy it kind of doesn't massively give you a huge amount more coverage but if you use it to set down like a spot um like if you put your concealer on and then you set it down with the, this powder it's like unstoppable i really really enjoyed it i'm currently using the rcma no color powder which i think is like one of the best kind of setting settings powders ever but this one has like a really nice finish to it. So I think actually in tandem, these are actually quite lovely. So this is more of a gone off product than um, something that I finished. This is the Sunday Rain Tender Bliss Sleeping Mask in the scent Watermelon. It was nice. It's one of those like overnight masks when you leave it on and wash it off in the morning. I enjoyed it. I just don't use these kind of face masks very often. Finished up two mascaras. I finished up the Anika the Mascara, which is a lovely kind of generic, everyday, it does a little bit of everything kind of mascara, which to be fair, for most days is what you want. So I actually really enjoyed this mascara not sure i would buy it again just because i prefer my maybelline lash sensational and it's significantly easier to get hold of but i did enjoy this and then the next one is the it superhero mascara which is quite infamous it has quite a nice brush it's big without being too big if that's something people say this one is significantly more kind of impactful like it is more volumizing and thickening and black like this is a really good mascara if you like really big heavy lashes something that i did love and i will keep buying for many many moons i think this is my third bottle this is the l'oreal infallible concealer so mine has been like scraped around the outside while i tried to get anything that i could out of this bottle i have mine in the shade 322 ivory i love this concealer it's one of those concealers that just does everything perfectly it's a really good under eye concealer it has really really good coverage 
it's not too cakey, it blends very well, it lasts very well, this shade matches me perfectly. I just love this. It has got quite a big doe foot, like that is a beast of an applicator, but yeah, I love it very, very much. Back onto skincare and back onto the brand Bliss. So the face wash and the toner I have bad reactions to, but the, what's this called? The cream to water hydrator for all day moisture. Loved it, absolutely loved it. It is exactly what it says on the tin. I don't know why I'm showing you, there's nothing left. Um, it's this kind of like gel texture, but it carries so much moisture. Although it's kind of like gel and like refreshing and super, super light, you can feel that it's actually doing a lot and it's really, really moisturizing. I loved this. So next up, I have used a face mask. This is from the brand Jigut, I think. It's their Lotus Real Ample Mask. I got this in a kind of mask beauty subscription box. So you get sent five or six masks every month and enjoyed it. I wouldn't say I was particularly like wowed by it and would run out and buy another one, but I did enjoy it. And then last but by no means least, and we're gonna breathe through this very quickly, toothpaste. So I've got nothing to say about this. It's toothpaste. I use Oral-B Complete uh, Extra White. But honestly, I swap between this and Colgate. I just brush my teeth. And that is the basket empty. Otherwise, I hope you guys have enjoyed the weekly vlog. I promise you from next week, they will be better because my life will be slightly, <laughs> slightly less chaotic. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.